My name is Elizabeth and I'm a candle maker. In today's episode, I'll be sharing with you a little behind the scenes of our new candle space. I'll also be making a few of my test candles in a matte black jar to see how they burn. At the moment, there isn't really much in our candle space, but as time progresses, we will definitely be filling up our space and sharing with you all our journey of candle making. We are playing a lot of background music in um, today's vlog, so I will be narrating majority of today's vlog. Join me as I take you on a little tour of our space. As we walk through the doors, on our left hand side we are greeted with a plain white table which we purchased from Bunnings. Extremely inexpensive as it does fold up and is a definite staple in running our business. Curtains or something to cover up those windows is definitely on the agenda. In this little corner here with this really bright light, we are planning on making it an area for where we can take product photos and videos. We have so many ideas in the air, so please don't come for me if we change it up. So in this free space here, we decided to put up our market banners for inspiration but we are yet to have anything permanent in this area. So um, as time progresses, we hope, hopefully will find or be able to fill this space up. Lastly, our little office space. We are so thankful to have found this table amongst all the rubble. Now we are able to put it in good use. It also fits super snug in the corner. So having a limited amount of space, we definitely have to be conscious of where everything goes hope you guys enjoy this little tour that we have and um here's just me um doing some packing or some testing of the matte black jars so i hope you guys enjoy this little run through Okay, so this is how it looks like from the top and yeah so I've already sanitized inside the jars and I have wicked them put the sticky on the st stickiers on them so they won't be coming off anytime soon and then I just use some of these chopsticks here just to keep it centered until it gets until I pour in the wax and then um, have it solidify and then I'll remove it. But this is just how it looks like for now. So typically what I'm doing now is I'm going to um, just do my measurements, my weighing. I'm going to get my measurements of my wax inside here and then I'm going to um, also put in the fra fragrance oil so the banana bread fragrance oil inside here as well and then yeah i'm gonna just mix it up and um i think i'm just gonna go with the plain i'm not gonna color it i do have a few colors here i do have a few colors with me here but um i'm not too sure maybe i might just dab in a little bit just to give that banana bread feel
so I decided not to use any color dye for this testing process as I was indecisive. There are two forms of color dye that I typically use though. The first one comes in a liquid form. This is my personal favorite as I almost always only need one drop of dye for my requested color or required color. The second option comes in a solid form which kind of reminds me of a crayon. Gener generally how it works is you just chip off your required amount of dye until you're satisfied with the color. The purpose of my videos is to hopefully inspire and motivate you. Join me in my quest to making 50 videos showcasing my love and passion for candles and everything in that genre. Episode 4 will be up soon. Stay tuned. Bye!